you recognize Kanagar? Because to me, he looks like a lesser known Fox player from Philadelphia named Smokey. It's that mask blindness, man. Mask blindness is so Yeah, real. my facial recognition it's software so in my brain just does not work it's anymore. It's so messed up. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think this is, uh, this is Smokey. Or a player formerly known as Smokey, who is a particular, who is a strong player. Um, really technical, and, uh, uh I am getting box. confirmation from Sidward that, uh, this is indeed Smokey Blunts. That's incredible. The artist formerly known as Smokey Blunts is now We Are Kanagar. That. So, Kanagar is Smokey Blunts. Is Smokey Blunts. That's, that was so fast yeah. by you. My man Sidward is on it today, guys. You got the Shout out to Sidward for, uh, yeah. for being my boy, getting my data, my commentary notes right. You guys can subscribe to him <laughs> on Twitch at Sidward1. Best Luigi on the East Coast. Yes. In my mind. And uh, while you're subscribing, go ahead and toss a sub to VG, VG Bootcamp. Bootcamp, baby. <laughs> But VG yeah, Bootcamp. of course, you know, yeah. we're seeing Polish do his thing yeah. per usual. Uh, even this late in the bracket, he's still making it look relatively easy with this big, big lead. That's but right. Okay, killing off the, the top. top. Oh, That's about like as early as it gets right I was there. about to say, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, ooh, a strong jump read from Polish, and he actually snipes with the turn up as well. Now, um, Polish is, again, like you said, uh, a contender to win this, this whole tournament. Um, it I think it depends a little bit on his bracket as well. Um, yeah, Peach is one of those characters, man. At least at this level it is, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As well as, I do think, for this set, uh, Kanagar's ability to win game one is going to be particularly important, too. Um, because I think if you if you win on Dreamland, uh, you can sort of... The, the stages set up for you in the following games are going to be a lot easier than, you know, having to deal with FD. <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe potentially even FD twice. If I had a melee superpower, it would be the ability to only always win on game one. You know, what's those sets, pills? Yeah, it just sets the tone. Yeah, like the, pick the green yeah, pill to always win pill. game win. Always game win one. Game, game one. <laughs> pick the take the pink pill to never have to play puff again. I feel like, I feel like the game one is actually pretty. It it's, sets the it sets a big yeah. big precedent for the rest of the set. Because sure. yeah, it carries over right. It's mm -hmm. it's mental damage. Especially like, in the best of five, it, it has a big impact on the on the set as well because mm. that first counter pick is uh, is vital. And if they beat you on your counter pick and you go down 2-0, it's yeah. it's an insurmountable uh, lead. That's right. Usually. That's right. And it, and it's tough, particularly particularly with Peach into spaces as well because you sort of are counter picking yourself. Um, you have to pick. You know, they'll ban uh, Battlefield and Yoshi's, and you have to pick between FD with Chain Grabs, Fountain of Dreams, or Dreamland. You know, all stages that, that Peaches are pretty okay going to versus Fox. Kanagar using that Nair approach almost exclusively, but so far, Polish has really been able to either avoid them or time them or wave dash back and try to down smash. Ooh, good wait. He actually gets the, the up air there, even at that high percent. This is pretty crucial right now. Kanagar has a pretty high percent against Peach, who is a character that will make you trade a lot, and uh, you gotta you gotta play pretty cleanly if yeah. you're if if Kanagar is gonna take game one. Peach is a regular Pokemon master the way she likes to trade. I mean, this is a character like Luigi who can get a, like, most of her damage in an even matchup is gonna come from trades. That's. I, I like that. I hey, I can't even take credit for that one. That like was that. that was everlasting yay as I came up with that way back in like 2010 That's or 2011. Very funny. That's very funny. Um, I think, I think we're going to stadium. A hundred percent. I mean, you you've got to assume any time Fox goes down a game like that, Smokey with the mask says mask off. <gasps> oh, mask off. Do you think it's I'm it's a gambit to I'm infect Polish? I'm honestly kind of surprised the venue police haven't ascended from the rafters. To, to do we have to do something? I I don't know who we call we the gotta police. Go. We gotta <laughs> 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 okay, got it. Uh, well, Smokey Blunts or Kanagar uh, freeing his airways. To if he takes the first stock after taking the mask off, I am going to lose yeah. it. It's proof. It's proof. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Polish, Polish still comfortable here. I think um, while it is uh, the lower ceiling will cause you to die early, er, off of the top against yeah. Fox. Um, okay. So taking the mask off and then taking the first stock is the biggest Silent John I have ever seen. That is one of the biggest Silent Johns of all That's so time. Funny. That is up there with uh, so Mewtwo King unplugging and replugging his controller and in winning. the middle of a game. That's yeah. so funny. 
That's so funny. You say it all without saying a word, Smokey. You say it all without saying a single word. Oh my word. god. And you know, we're we're all thinking about that. <laughs> we're we're all we're, we're we're smart people. And so all of these little things, they add up. Absolutely. It's a big brain man's game. You know, like, it's a thinking man's game this melee here. Yeah, everything everything counts. Lod Lod had a system uh, that he he proposed where you didn't play rock paper scissors to strike because if you lose rock paper scissors that's mental damage <laughs> right yeah you get chipped away over time you know <laughs> that's right uh while kanagar's lead has dissolved a bit i think he's looking to especially i forgot dude transformations are so crazy i love them uh, i love them it's all ooh. the variety i need in my life just a little bit of seasoning on my melee <laughs> <laughs> yeah R really good anti-air from polish actually uses the just like stationary float nair as an anti-air uh, for Kanagar coming in with a Nair. Really racking up the damage in this one, too. Ooh, is this an edge guard? That is so Ooh, that was sick. Such actually. a sweet edge guard from, from uh, Polish there. Definitely looking Armada S, Triff esque on that. Yeah, absolutely uh, making the call out that Kanagar is going to start his recovery up there and then drifting down to finish it off. FC Nair down so smash zero to death. That was it. Sick. That was it. Yeah, look. There's the venue police that right was behind him. Fun. Here comes the venue police, sir. I'm gonna need you to. I'm gonna need you to mask up, sir. Oh really? Do oh, I have on, to? Come on, man. I can't breathe. Oh, oh okay. You know, you, you know that that's not the fine, case. We, fine. We've all read the studies. We know uh, that they don't block your airflow. Okay. <laughs> I like that Big we side. jumped into the, into the sketch there a little bit very quickly. This is the dub. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Going back to stadium. Uh, Polish with a dominating game two. Um, after losing the first stock. He melted those first, those last two stocks too. I mean, that That's was like right. 45 seconds total. That's Big right. damage off the down smash. What are you gonna do about it? Oh my gosh, loving that jump read to continue the punish. And Dude, uh, perfectly spaced float cancel falling nares have been the story of this set. Okay, Whoa, Polish is Mr. absolutely Saturn sick. Doubles up. <laughs> <laughs> Out of this world combo. <laughs> Marvel two, <laughs> Marvel three announcer yeah, coming yeah, by. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, Polish's punish game, absolutely disgusting. Even, I think we're also seeing a play style shift from Kanagar. That game one on Dreamland was sort of going in guns a-blazing, a lot of short hop nares, a lot of really low to the ground movements. Um, and now trying to get a little bit campier just to like feel out a little bit more, be a little bit less risky. But Polish actually managing that even better. Um, making reads on the, the laser patterns. And uh, the fact that he's sort of spacing away and giving Polish a lot of stage, Polish will take it. And here it comes, the burning home. Oh yeah, who's living there? Uh, in NC, we say that this is the the, <laughs> the the burning childhood home of Tahim, the anime hero of North Carolina. But you know, I mean, you That's can picture so any shonen That's growing so up here, you know? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like their parents. <laughs> it's it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ninjas came yeah. and burned our village to the ground. Okasan! <laughs> Okasan! <laughs> Yeah. This is the burning house you see in the intro of most animes. Fun fact. <laughs> Even ones without like a burning house. It's just dramatic. Yeah. That's so funny. That's so funny. Shout outs to my NC crowd. I know that they appreciated the Tahim reference there. Ooh, okay. And Falling Nair shows up again. Really? Such a sick Nair. Polish on lock covering these side Bs, um, which have been really limiting Kanagar's uh, ability to get back, obviously, but also I think making Kanagar even more uh, more antsy in neutral because he just knows if he goes off stage, there's a high likelihood that he's going to die. A lot of work here for Kanagar. I mean, down two games, two stocks against Peach, especially this Peach. Yeah. Nice uh, drill reverse, wave shine, up smash. Uh, those are the red bread and butters that you really need to to be pulling out in this matchup, but uh, might be a little bit too late. Too little, too late. Yeah. Woo! You see Kanagar trying to put some laser damage on. Polish immediately sees and dash attacks it. That's yeah. what I'm saying about, like... The reaction there was really, really sweet. Really fast. Yeah. Ooh! Nice actually... follow-up. Kanagar getting, those, getting that lead uh, eliminated with some nice efficiency here. Yeah. Burning home again! The burning har home... Uh, we're seeing Polish some is looking going to on. end this before the stage wow. can interfere okay. with the game. Actually, the side B from Kanagar, I think, really smart because <laughs> he got over the tree as it was coming up and uh, and said bye-bye, you know, wave bye to Polish as mm -hmm. the tree obscured that edge guard. But 
you know, I think it's really smart of Kanagar to take the fight to Polish during this part of the game because mm. you're down two games already. You might as well try yeah. to get this one while oh. you can. But getting smacked up against Absolutely. the tree is a bad oh, one. Oh, sick tech. Oh, sick tech. That is, oh, my God. Uh, that was 2% away from killing. I promise oh you. I've been God. commentating a lot of melee matches today. That was about 2% from oh killing. Oh, my gosh. They're both one solid hit away. And a Kanagar, oh, barely. He comes on with a rising forward here from the ledge and oh, tries to end the game. Flubs the edge guard with the falling up air. That's tough. He goes crazy. Oh, oh he hits the deck. Tech. He hits the deck. Polish. Oh, my, oh God. my God. Polish staying on lock. A little bit of flubs on both players near the edge, but Polish comes out victorious. I think Kanagar just had a bit too many recoveries that gave Polish a bit too many opportunities to close out that game. Yeah, very, very uh, nice game from Kanagar, showing the mid-set adjustments, and I really, really admired how he how he took that lead back, uh, or tried to eliminate the lead and tie it back up on that last stock, because like I said, two games, down two stocks on against a player like this, a lot of guys, they just start taking too much mental damage, like That's we were right. talking about with that rock, paper, scissors. That's, That's like right. getting double rocked before the set even starts, you know? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Does that mean you lose to Double Rock? Yeah, like you're like going you get 2 would but it's just Rock. But it's just Rock. The, yeah. the Onga Bunga. Yeah. The, yeah. yeah, the choice. It's like losing to Donkey Kong in round one. Oh, my gosh. This, this guy didn't even do anything. He just Rock, Paper, he, he Scissors. He kept his fist shoot, closed shoot, the whole that, time. Yeah. I could have done nothing and done better. <laughs> oh, my gosh. The falling there is like you see there. That mm -hmm. was a huge tool for Polish in this. And, you know, I've watched a lot of Peach today. I have not seen anybody use Nair as effectively or as deadly. This is my favorite oh, kill. this is so sick. Yeah. Mr. Saturn says, you thought I was a joke? Am I a joke to Am you? I, joke I to took you. that personally. I took that personally, absolutely. Mr. Saturn is always <laughs> saying this. <laughs> He's always waiting in the ground for his opportunity. Yeah. Ah, so sick. Yeah, I think, honestly, I was really, really impressed by the edge guards. Um, from Polish this set. I, I just feel like Spacey's have gotten particularly better at re recovering, um, having a lot of different mix-ups, and Polish having such strong, co number one, coverage, but also really good reads when yeah. they count in. 100%. You know. I mean, we saw him even do a little bit of tech chasing there mm -hmm. in that second game. And to uh, be able to tech chase with a, with a character like Peach, you have to really have a strong command on FC and a really strong knowledge of yeah. you know your exact range with mm -hmm. Peach because a lot of her best tech chasing moves have like a range of like Sopo's grab. And that's yes. it, you know, down that's tilt, right. uh, right. down smash, of course, but a huge tech chasing tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Polish, particularly good at, at manipulating Peach, uh, is deep in the Peach tech. You know, the Peach, yeah. the Peach Discord and like Facebook group, they're always like, oh, like sub float. Double FC. Weak throw. Strong throw. Knitting. It's like, guys, shut up. You know? Get a room. <laughs> get a Discord. Get a Discord. <laughs> get a D guys, get out of the voice channel. Get your own server. Uh, but yeah, Polish is super adept at all the crazy advanced stuff. Uh, just like manipulating momentum and going like, yeah, I edge canceled that. Um, oh, we've got America's merch. favorite melee matchup coming up here. Puff versus Samus. Don't. Don't. <laughs> don't this is up. the one you've all been waiting is for. Is this Dawson? Uh, this is Swooper and Dawson, yep. Okay, I've I'm actually never... To this. I'm actually looking for... I, I love watching Swooper play. Mm -hmm, Obviously, sure. I commentated some of his matches earlier. Probably one of the Dark Horses I would pick to win the event overall. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Um, I, think, I think only a Dark Horse just because he's been a little bit quiet.